Jeremiah, Yirmiyahu, chapter 43. When Yirmiyahu had finished telling all the people everything Adonai their God had said, which Adonai their God had sent him to tell them, the entire speech cited above, then Arziah the son of Hoshia, Yochananan the son of Karak, and all the men with him had the effrontery to say to Yirmiyahu, You are lying. Adonai our God did not send you to say, Don't go to Egypt and live there. Brother Baruch, the son of Neriah, is inciting you against us, so that we can be handed over to the Kazdim to be put to death or carried off as captives to Babel. So Yochananan, the son of Karak, all the military commanders, and all the people did not heed what Anani said to live in the land of Yehuda. Instead, Yochananan, the son of Karak, and all the military commanders took all the remnant of Yehuda, who had returned from all the nations where they had been driven, to live in the land of Yehuda. The men, the women, the children, the king's daughters, everyone Navar Zadan, the commander of the guard, had committed to Gedaliahu, the son of Akam, the son of Shaphan, and Yirmiyahu, the prophet, and the Baruch, the son of Neriah, and went to the land of Egypt. For they did not heed what Adonai had said, and they arrived in Tachpanachinus. Then this word of Adonai came to Yirmiyahu in Tachpanachinus. With the men of Yehuda watching, take some big stones and set them with mortar in the pavement at the entry to Pharaoh's palace in Tachpanchus. Tell them, this is what Adonai Sabaoth, the god of Israel, says. I will summon Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babel, my servant. Take him and set his throne on these stones I laid here. He will come and spread his royal canopy over them. He will come and attack the land of Egypt. Those destined for death to death, those destined for captivity to captivity, those destined for the sword to the sword. I will light a fire in the temples of the gods of Egypt, and he will burn those gods or take them captive. He will fold up the land of Egypt like a shepherd folding up his cloak and leave there victorious. He will also break the standing stones of the temple of the sun in the land of Egypt and burn to the ground the temples of the gods of Egypt. 